You know, Bacon, it's nice to sit down and watch this new Olympics episode with you that I'm sure you've edited together just perfectly. It's so nice to have a friend, a creative partner that I can just trust so much. Thanks, Bacon. Olympiadas Especiales. I'm by Waverly joined by my co-host Roberto Condoro. Welcome to the Anawitz Olympic Special. We've gathered the finest athletes that Anawitz has to offer. A bunch of out of shape white men and a few uh, unfortunate women. They are the best we could find. They literally have to participate. It's in their contract with the show. And we're gonna take you out to Beltrami Park in Northeast for our first event, arm wrestling. Now there's the lovely Minneapolis skyline, the beautiful Minneapolis bridge, beautiful Minneapolis trees, Minneapolis slides, <laughs> Minneapolis lamps. Zebra mussels. Now there's Minneapolis recycling. That's where you put it. Now here, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The Olympic torch is being run in. Can you imagine all the things a tree witnesses during its lifespan? The flame appears to have gone out, but he's still running. Is that a cat on his shirt? Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh my God, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, I feel bad for that inchworm on his shoulder. This is it, the Olympics at Beltrami Park, where we acknowledge our differences. We celebrate our nation and in brotherhood we continue to share scientific information and now it's regular Gwydion has tour unfortunately cannot attend the special olympics due to drug use these right, guys know the ready? rules i don't know why he's Red wasting white, their ready? time oh, arm wrestling cool. was first invented by oh, armos the greek god of strength-based competitions let's get it on joe rilla looks like broccoli that died and you left under the kitchen sink he looks like President Barackley Obama. Not a surprise there, folks. Joe Rilla wins the first round easily. He's a monster out there. He, she doesn't stand a chance. Now here's a little thing, and I don't want to get controversial here, Bobby. But have you noticed how clean she keeps the side of her picnic table? Let's get it on! You know, I did notice that. It's very striking, in fact. And I can just tell by Jarilla's haircut that he doesn't play by the rules. Well, wow. You think that table had something to do with that? I don't think anybody deserves graffiti. She might have the advantage. Yeah. All right, we're back for the third and final round. The winner of this heat will take the gold medal. I'll end it. I'll end it, buddy. Joe Rilla, the only competitor to hang glide into the competition. Elbows on the table. Lock arms. Let's get it on! Luna is pushing Jorilla down. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Jorilla comes back. It looks like he's going to take it. No, but Luna is back again. Arm, wrestle, arm. Where is that dog going? And Luna again. I cannot believe it, ladies and gentlemen. Luna has to her. Luna originally hatched from a chocolate Cadbury egg.
And there she is, folks, on top of that great big tree with that funny hat. Why is that? Arm wrestle arm. What a start to the Olympics. I did not see that one coming. Did you, buy? No. Very impressive. That little girl, Luna, threw Joe Rilla straight across the bench onto the floor where he belongs. That little girl, Luna, she's got the strength of five Joe Rillas. Well, I'm very excited because this next event, competitive prancing, I've been waiting for all year long. So get those mentholated anal beads out of the freezer. It's go time. The competitors are entering their prancing stance and doing their little prancing dance. Doing the invisible jump rope that he's known for. If he squats any harder, a six-year-old's gonna roll out of that. Referee Joe Bowen needs to hear his name. He's at the ready. Let's get it on! And they're off, prancing into the night. This one's for all the marbles. You know, they may not look it, but these two men are the most delicate, agile, and nimble performers when you see them on their tippy toes. I'm told that Bacon can leg press 1,800 pounds, and it's showing with moves like that. Would you take a look at that? He just totally spread the eagle. He totally broke away in these last moments. All that practice down the drains for Bobby. Your winner today, Bacon. Nature Boy beats City Mouse every time. Well, Bacon just pranced his way into my heart. Damn, I love that event. Unbelievable. Now we're gonna head on over to our next location over at Mudbutt Lake. We got a very special pool noodle fight between Hal Lovemelt and Dan Moraine. Sweeping Majesty. A light whistler from the Catalan. This guy's actually handsome. Where'd they find him? Obviously not from the show. And the same could be said of this man. Wham, bam, thank you, Dan. Our next competitor, long-haired Dan Moraine. Swagging his way down the dock. Kind of a showman, Dan. Dancing and uh, almost showboating. It's like a Street Fighter game. There's people in the water cheering them on. Frog jumping gets Dan warmed up. Let's get it on! Look at the agility on these two. Look at the two of them really work that dock together. The only thing missing from this sport is eye contact. Swinging their noodles around like it's not the first time they've done it. Swinging and leaping away to safety, he comes back. Oh, losing the noodle. Wow. That was a little questionable. It looked like Hal, Hal pushed him in with his hands. Is that what you saw? I saw That's Hal just, he was noodleless, and he still Let's came see. out ahead. Oh. Hal has been under a lot of dress under Dan's intensity. They're going at it, blue versus green. It's like Obi-Wan versus Luke Skywalker. Hal seems to be holding his own here, deflecting, holding Dan back, but Dan seems to keep applying the pressure. Strength battle, and Hal goes in the water. No, no I did not. Hal really felt the heat from Dan. So it's tied one to one. Who, who do you think is going to win the final contest? He's banging the frog as usual. It might be Dan, the man Moraine, taking Hal Lovemolt down to the depths. Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen, the third and final contest. Dan is being backed into a corner by Hal. This does not look good. There's some kind of ladder. I have never seen two men use their noodles this way. Wow, Dan is being backed into a corner. This is not looking good for him. Expect the unexpected. Anything could happen. Hal is not to be stopped. He's indefatigable. I don't think he will stop. And he did not stop until he fell into the water himself. He dies on his back, like a lot of lonely women. What an exciting finish at Mudbutt Lake. That was the most action we've seen today. It's really incredible how some of these guys appear to be in shape. I've never seen those guys on the show before. Hmm. Now, another central tenet of competitive Olympic sports is corporate sponsorship. 
So we'll be back after a word from our sponsors. Howdy, partners! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Are you tired of bringing your family to subpar eating establishments with even more subpar chili? Let me tell you what that means. We got meat and everything! We got the finest spaghetti and meatball fall you ever had. You're goddamn right! What do you think this is? Fud Ruckers? The meal's on me! You're really gonna love our damn chili! This is spaghetti and meatballs! <laughs> Ristorante! <laughs> Jabroni! For our next event, we're going to do something we've always wanted. Ride around on another man's back. Or woman. <laughs> it's the 90s. Piggyback racing you wouldn't think is a difficult thing to train for. You might even think it's a family game. Collegial. <gasps> yeah, except those little piggies get turned into pork chops. Take a look at these contestants because they have been training all day. Jorilla and Luna will be continuing their rivalry from the arm wrestling competition, this time with Cujo and Lacey joining in. They're mounting up. I see some piggies. I see them on backs. Let's get it on! And they're off. The sacred geometry of this hog race knows no bounds. Oink! Now, is it just me, or was that very short? It looked like they weighed about 10 meters. Yeah. I think we're going to have to convert this event to English if we're going to enjoy it. And now we go from piggyback to belly flop. Bobby and Bacon are at it again. Your challenge telling them apart. The belly flop competition. The one event where competitors get a chance to make a dramatic entrance. He's taking a sip from the Fountain of Youth, a.k.a. PBR Beer. He seems to be prepared to lose for a second time. Now that's a flopping belly if I've ever seen one. He should, he should get the gold without doing anything. His belly is already flopping. Action. Looks like Bacon left his jacket at home. He can't afford a jacket. That man is so broke. I'm looking forward to seeing his stomach rupture today. And he sure knows how to pose those muscles of his. Now, Bacon's fat, but is he Bobby fat? I'm not sure he has the flab to be a real champion. Is that a mole? It appears to be a mole, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Something that he certainly would not like to discuss. Have that tattoo removed. I think that's back here. I think that's a tattoo. Just looking at these guys, I can feel my false hopes shriveling. And Bobby's off, running down the dock. He's preparing to flop. And it's a knee flop. What a swan honker. What a singing goose. A goose could do a better flop than that, though. And he's happy about it. USA! USA! <laughs> Sorry, Bobby, your country won't save you this time. There's nothing like the sound of a man lumbering down the timber. Hopefully, Bacon can restore this event to glory. Here comes the welterweight. Will he have enough? Knee. Knee. Flop. Ooh. Oh. Knee how. Wow. As they say in Japan, knee how. Do you call that a belly flop? Yeah. Goodbye. I say as a viewer. What a waste of an event. If only there was someone who could come along and save this event from total boredom. I'm about to kill myself Jeremiah, until, Jeremiah. what's this? His form is perfect and he flops right in there. I think the bike might have won this competition and only a gut as large as his would float. Interestingly enough, it's a French bike, the only non-American competitor in this whole Olympics. Whoa. I am with Dan. It floats. The bike floated. That was amazing. What a surprise nobody could have anticipated. That's part of being here at the mud butt. But the main point here is that the bike floats. I'm astonished. You're astonished. Dan said it all for us. I didn't realize it was a uh... Will the bike float competition? I thought it was a belly flop competition. That was one of the worst I've ever seen. 
Bobby and Bacon should be ashamed of themselves. They did knee flops. Clearly, you can't script this. Well, you know, that was, the, that was a cold moment, but we're gonna get real hot now. The event you guys have all been waiting for, the sexy posing competition between Hamill, Griffin Cassidy, and Joe Rilla. Joe Rilla, obviously the favorite here. With his broccoli-like hair and huge muscles. I'm gonna do my best to judge this objectively. Hamill, he's hoping that style will fight his way through this. Let's get it on! The best thing about hitting rock bottom is you can give it all up without fear. And he seems to be doing that today. Shame is a quality in some people, not him. But I worry about the motor skills. He will get a lot of points if he pulls this off. Man, that's all the way to the knuckle. Wonder how many fingers he's had in that mouth. Rilla. He has this in the bag. Unfortunately, Hamill, given the love, I mean, he's really trying hard, but he just simply doesn't stand a chance against a competitor like Joe Rilla. Oh. Trademark Joe Rilla squat. Oh, it looks like the ref got something in his eye. He's just blowing the field. Oh my God, what, what that, was, was that? that? What was that? How you doing? Son, son that was a cheap... Ah. Did you just see what I saw, Bobby Smiles? Yeah, I saw that. That's what is going on? Here we are at an event that's about the brotherhood, about the friendship among parks in a lake near Wisconsin, and you see this sort of activity. That's an outrage. Uh, we, that's just, an outrage. we just got word that Jorilla cannot continue, and Hamill wins. Why? <laughs> in all my days commentating for the Olympics, I have never seen so something so down low and dirty. We're going to have to look at this again, but I think, you know, you were right. He did, when you were talking about the official, I think we might have missed something there. That was fast. We're going to have to take another look at this. I've never seen broccoli cry so much. We have to go to a commercial break. Mamma mia. Go to f***ing Olive Garden. Welcome back to the end. Now it's Olympic special. Before our break, tragedy struck during the sexy posing competition between Joe Lipscomb and Hamill Griffin Cassidy. I warn you now that some of this video may be graphic. Let's take a look at the footage. Ah! How you doing, ah! son? Son, that was a cheap ah! I'm really sorry. Ah! I'm really sorry. During the break, we uncovered some disturbing security camera footage prior to the competition between Hamill Griffin Cassidy and Joe Lipscomb. As you can clearly see in that slow motion footage, someone unfairly came from behind and took out Jorilla maliciously. And people are rightfully outraged that Hamill was named the winner of that event. People are always angry when Hamill wins. Well, no, this is just sad. Look at this guy. They, there's clearly foul play involved. Well, that's a tough break for Jorilla, but it's an even tougher break for Bacon because the next event is the nut kicking competition and he's facing off against Lacey. Ouch. <laughs> now this just doesn't seem fair. A woman squaring off against a man in the ball kicking contest. I don't know what Bacon did to deserve this, but this doesn't seem right. Apparently it's a clerical error and Bacon doesn't have to use his anymore. Well, that's good to know. That's a, that's a load off my sack. I don't 
don't know why I'm here, but I'll do it. This is bullshit. I don't know what's going on. I don't really want to hit a girl. I think she already has a full advantage over me. Can, can somebody do something about this, please? <laughs> See what I work with? This is not gonna be pretty. Oh, please, this is the greatest moment of my life. Let's get it on! Let's see this. Come on. Come on, do it. Oh, he's down. Yes. And it yes. came out the top. She kicked him so hard, his load came out the top. Yes. Mount St. Helens incarnate. His roots were destroyed. It's supposed to come out from down below. It's supposed to come out from your balls, not your mouth. They're even shaped like a little butt. Wow, you could practically hear his testicles hatch. Oh boy. She got him right in the scrote. I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. Take aim and fire. <laughs> right in the, don't shoot till you see the white of his pale skin. And she did. <laughs> right in bisected those babies. I've been on the receiving end of many a nut shot from women. But let me tell you something, it's not pretty. It's not fun. You often end up spitting out yellow liquid, just like Bacon did. I have been on television for 20 years. And after seeing that, the only thing that's gonna make me feel better is watching our next event, the condom drop. Wait. The condom drop. Probably. Couldn't ask for a better competitor for this event. That's the idea. Okay, go ahead. And he landed it square on his head. His giant pear-shaped head. Somewhat of a vanity event. Bobby practices safe sex. And is the only competitor in this competition. Let's see that again in slower motion. You can tell he's had plenty of condoms dropped on his head before. He's the kind of man you wouldn't want to get pregnant anyway. Every young Jewish boy has a condom dropped on him at eight days old. And they snip it right off. <laughs> Big win for Bobby Khan. Uh, finally an event that he had cornered because there were no other. Excuse me, uh, Pokemon seems to be nearby. <laughs> I'll take over. This is the only event Bobby won so far, and it's also probably because he was the only one competing. It's a, technically a gold, like my tie here. It's gold tie. And then I got, uh, you probably can't see it, but there's silver lines on this shirt because it's really expensive. And then, you know, bronze. I got my, my butthole bronze earlier today. I'm going to send it to my fourth wife. Gotcha. Now we saved our most action-packed event for last. It's got more action than even the biathlon buy, if you can believe that. <laughs> if you don't know, the biathlon includes shooting and skiing. And this is even better. Bobby Khan and Cujo will be facing off. <laughs> Literally, it's a staring contest. It's not ecstasy, it's dilated eyes. We're here on the ground with the staring contest. A lot of intensity shown from Bobby here. He looks like he's ready to stare for days. Now, I don't even know if I want to see this guy after that last event. There is clearly evidence that he is somebody who does not believe in sportsmanship. Frankly, it's a shame that he's allowed to still compete after what he did to Jorilla. And I can assure you, he will not be finding Nirvana today. Let's get it on! And we're off. Both of these men possess a lot of mental fortitude. Bobby Khan, I assure you, has taken a lot of ecstasy beforehand. That intense shake that Bobby's known for. He's always wiggling that nervous little knee of his. Bobby's not much of a competitor, but I know everybody's behind him today, especially after the gruesome acts that Cujo committed earlier in these games. And unfortunately, the two men look like they're very evenly matched right now. It's Joe Rilla, ladies and gentlemen. Here to exact his revenge. <laughs> broken eye contact. He has broken eye contact. 
Yeah. And the USA. crowd is roaring. They are excited that Cujo got his comeuppance and fell down. Look at this again. Would you look at that smug look? Wow. I don't know who to hate next. USA. USA. Everyone's a winner. Participate. Where are all those attractive guys that were there earlier? How come it's just the regular ugly people now? Bobby smiles. These people will not stop. Are they winners or what? Yeah, it's like seven competitors, seven gold medals. I'm not sure what they're celebrating. You're the accountant, but I'm loving it. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all our events for this evening. And for this edition of the And Now It's Olympic Special, we will see you again in four years. My name is Bobby Smiles. I'm by Waverly. Good night.